but usually I release new music, um, I actually release independently, and I release through DistroKid, um, I released music last week, and I wanted to show you some really cool tools that DistroKid has for you guys to basically promote your music, so, um, as I'm actually doing this for myself, I'm gonna show you the cool tools. Um, make sure you guys get the, the link to try DistroKid uh, the first year, 7% off the link that I have in the, the description. But let's uh, check it out because um, I came out with two songs last week. I'm actually composing a beat tape and I've been releasing like two singles at a time to lead up to the beat tape and I have like I think I have enough songs to release but I don't think it's enough for me I want to have a huge collection not like a huge collection but you know um more than I have now so we're gonna make some more beats today but before we make some beats I'm gonna show you how to promote or how to like do really cool things to promote your music through DistroKid. And I've never used this stuff before and I've always had DistroKid. So I'm gonna show you guys some really cool stuff real quick. Um, let's see. There we are. Let me fix this. As you can see, these are my current releases that are out. Um, So I have a, a VIP account. So it may look a little different from like a basic account that you guys may have, but I wanted to show you some really cool features that do come with your um, DistroKid account. I'm gonna, oops. Move my face down here, hello. And um, over here, this little uh, four bar, four little dots you have a lot of different options one being you can get your music mastered um they have an ai tool that you can use to master your music so we can check that out but today i wanted to go down to promote your to promote your music but like i said there's other things here you can um you can actually post music on to streaming service so if you have a music video this is where you can upload it. So I actually need to get my music videos onto um, onto uh, DistroKid. You can even have a social phone number. A lot of people always say text me. So this is where you can get your own separate text phone number to communicate with your fans. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, but right here, we have a promote yourself. There's a few different options. One's called Hyperfollow. It's a free landing page to grow your fan base. It's really dope because like, as you can see, it has all your releases and I could, it already just creates <laughs> a landing page for you. Um, so it already has a preview of the song, the, the main distribution channels uh, and and you could go here and hit, let's see what edit looks like. You can change the image, the title. I can add social media buttons, enhance. Let's see, you can add a YouTube video. So that's really dope. So if you have YouTube videos connected to that release, you can add it so it's on the, the landing page. So when you send somebody, um, like you know you don't know who who's listening to what like if someone's on spotify they're on tiktok i'm sorry if they're on a <laughs> title or if they're on um 
on iTunes, they're on Pandora. Some people don't even have streaming services. So you want to give them options. So this is where you can kind of just uh, add some more links, which is really dope. But there's some really other, these, there's some other cool assets that you can create, like a video. Um, <laughs> You have a few options and all this stuff right here is free like this right here this part is free there's another one that's a little bit more advanced where you do have to um to pay for it but this is a really good start so if your music has to do anything with these um like let's say this one says unicorn so i'm gonna pick a song let's pick I'm gonna pick Peach for Flavor. And okay, it's gonna generate a mini video for me. And this is something I created already. Oh yeah, it's totally fine that you have me running in the background. <laughs> totally cool. Um, yeah, check out, um, this is something I made and distributed for free. As like a, you know, this could be like a canvas on um, on this on Spotify. It could be just like a story or a reel or something like that. So um, let's see. Go back to the four dots under promote yourself. And there's something called a meme video generator. And I, uh, let's see, I made one earlier. Let me just download it. Hey guys, I want to make a toast. Um, here's to those who wish us well, and those who don't can go to hell. <laughs> All right, stand up. Come on, who's standing? Okay, can we get it started? Okay, this is interesting. That's dope. I really like that. <laughs> there are some other options where you could basically choose different memes. So there's a lot of cool ways to promote your to your music for free through DistroKid. I honestly am very, very glad that they have these things because, um, you know, if you want to take it another notch, they have something where it, you pay an extra fee to get like better assets with your music and your um your album artwork so as you can see like if i go here there's a vinyl option there's a landscape there's horizontal and i get to choose a song so boom vertical and then it has the the price of these so so you have a few different options, and as you can see, it's like an example. It has the music at the bottom. So it's definitely like a visualizer for you already. So let's see. So this is really dope if you want to make a visualizer for your YouTube channel too. This 
is pretty dope. I think that um, you have some pretty cool options to promote your music. One thing that I wanted to do today, they have something called photo cards or promo cards. And the album or the single that released last week and the weeks before, I went and grabbed some of these. So these are really, really cool. So um, let's see what fits the vibe of this. Wow. They have Times Square. So I'm going to just hit download and uh, download it to my computer. There's a few different options. I think this is really dope. They got a cassette. So yeah, I'm going to go back. Grab some from the one that came out last week. This is um, hydrated and moisturized. Make sure you guys add it to your playlist. The links are in the description if you guys want to add it to your playlist. So, boom. The cool thing is DistroKid had emailed me, like, one of these. But I didn't realize I could make my own. And there's a huge, you know, selection. So... Throughout the weekend, what I'm going to do is take these promo cards and put them on my Instagram stories with the music and just refresh people's memory. Hey, new music's out. Save it, you know, um, listen to it. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys this really quick before we get into making music. But um, over here, I have the lovely MPC X special edition. And the SP404. Sure. There we go. So let's get some, some beat making. Let's do, I'm gonna pull out like a brand new session real quick. Let's open a new project. Yes, the best duo in the world. Like, tell me a better duo than the S the SP four four and the just the the machine and the SP is great, but this is this right here. This is the this is killing it. This is killing the game. I've said it here first. All right, let's pull up some. Oops. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's pull up some drums. How's everyone's day going, by the way? How's your week? My week's been great. I got some exciting news to share that I can't share. When I share it, I'm gonna be sharing it. I'm excited. Um, 
definitely need to load up more samples on my sample thing. Okay, we'll just go do this. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. That's nice, that's nice. We'll deal with that. What about I buy? I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm basically. I just duplicated the drum pattern because it's 85 BPMs, and right now I am gonna time stretch it to 92, hopefully. I think it's eight bars. We'll find out. Five instead of ninety five. My bad. Okay, cool. What do we do? It's ninety five BPM. No, I changed it to ninety two BPM. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna chop it up. samples, these chops.
and convert these into a whole onto a pad. So boom. Okay, so now we're going to find some samples or a sample to play on top of this. So let's browse our library. Yeah. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I've done all of these, but we're going to make sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. see what so what we, see what we can discover you know oh Joel It only take two seconds. You don't only take two seconds. How are you finding the workflow? I'm finding it. It's going. It's going places. I don't, I'm trying to get to the J. Diddler part where you, it's five minutes. You just. I'm already. I'm. You know. I'm. I'm almost there. We almost there. So let me. Uh, yeah. I'm so excited. Delightful. How you feeling? How you feeling? Gonna record something. No, 
nah, nah, fair. Okay. Nah, playing. Do it right. Do it right. Right, we got something going on. Something going on. Something's happening. I'm, I'm loving this thing. I'm loving this little thing. I'm loving this thing. What a dash. Dashish. Dashish. Just got the live. The live is great. The live too is great. Honestly, it's like the best. Honestly, I think it's the best one. Because this right here is huge. Like. Taking this to the studio this week was like, it's beautiful in the studio. We're taking it to the studio. I'm looking crazy. I'm over here. This thing. I ain't got no case for it. I don't even know what bag it's supposed to be in. I'm, I'm over here putting fingerprints and knocking it on the corners and stuff. You know? I got to keep it in one place for the rest of his life. What up, Gavin? What's up? How you doing? What's up? The S twenty two thousand two thousand four hundred and the SP four hundred and four two is better duo since you asked. What's that then? Look that up. Mm, say less. I'll be here next week with the S two twenty four hundred. Okay, Isla. Is it is that how y'all say the um Isla Isla Isla? They told me they was gonna hit me up and get me one, but they ain't never did it. I got a list of people in my head that has told me that they was gonna do something and they never did it. And they on that list. So if you watching this, Isla, because I've been promoting you a court core bot for free. You told me. <laughs> Put them on blast. With love and respect. This is the best. And then you said the 2,400. The S with the SP6. Let me show you what I'm talking about. To my computer. So this is the... um. So, so y'all know what I'm talking about. It's basically like the um, the SP twelve hundred, but it's the twenty four hundred. They just doubled it. Nice. What do you like about it? Why is it better than the the NPC X special edition? Wait. You let me know, and then you said the um the SP. There's the SP sixteen. I can't keep up with these numbers now. Okay, the Pioneer. Okay, interesting. I gotta see what you do with your with your workflow. I'm pretty sure it's pretty dope. You said the SP. Uh, I'm sorry, the NPC X use better converters. And the actual analog filter to compete. Oh. Okay, I'll have to 
check these these things out then. All right, let's get into uh, back into the beats. Say something about he said something about converters. What we converting to? So what you mean com better converter? <laughs> In the actual analog filter. What you mean? Like this is digital. So what you like I'm not I'm I gotta get I gotta check out those other products to see what's going on. If the, I don't know. Cause that's me hands. We good. We whatever we don't need. We don't need, we don't need so I'm like, why everyone mad? They mad. Why they didn't come out with the new one? No, 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 no. Why they didn't have the, the thing with the thing with the thing that I put in this? Why you go make it yourself? You shut up. <laughs> I appreciate them all. You know I me. Mean? Nah, there's some of them I don't like. I'll be like, nah, I don't like this. It says, nah, Will is an old head. Good luck with that, the workflow. With those gears he's mentioned. <laughs> is he an old head? We're, we're, will the weirdo be on music? I mean, What's an old head like? Can someone in the comments put their definition of old head? And 
put your definition of an old head and then go to chat GTP and ask it, what's an old head? And then see what it generates and put it in the comments. Um, an old head is considered someone that, <laughs> that was born in the 19, the 19th century. <laughs> Yo, beast, beast, sister. Yo, Mike is a bit quiet. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Is that better? Hello. I don't want to be too hot. Okay. Hope this better. Thank you for the feedback. Respect from Germany. Shout out to Germany. Okay, the S twelve hundred twenty four said the S twenty five hundred sound better, but the NPC X is absolute shizzle. Hmm, it sounds better. It sounds better. Gotta check it out. What up, A major keys? Appreciate you coming through. Happy Friday. Make this record something and then just move forward to something else. Just, you know, we got to finish our, we'll be started, you know? It's something. Let's see. TLC show. <laughs> it's not like a show for um, <laughs> like some uh, <laughs> where they're gonna get uh, bounty hunters or something like that, <laughs> or they're going to the little um, junkyards and they're gonna flip some, <laughs> gonna flip some money. We're gonna go into somebody's storage, storage wars. <laughs> I think it did for sample. <laughs> Story tours. We're gonna try to find some antiques. What do you think we're gonna find? I don't know, honey. The storage tours. Take a yeah, that's when it's giving. It's giving um storage wars. I'm gonna find a different sample. Try it out. We're gonna try it out. It's always worth trying. Oh, what is this? It's always worth trying. It's always worth trying, baby. This one's not giving storage wars. Thank you. 
What that thing do? What that do do? Crazy. I'm literally on the way to return my SP404 and then I saw this on my feed. How dare you? How dare you show up and just say that? You better run you better return back home. There's no excuse to not have a 404 in your house. Everyone needs a 404 if you're a music producer and you're committed. I'm sorry. It is only like right now. It's 4.99 on Zounds. Link in my description right now. There's, it's on discount. They keep they keep adjusting the price, and now it's back to the original. Nice, juicy. That's a nice price. I can get that. I have that now. I have that. I can get that. But look, look come on, come on, come on. Let's return back home, sir. Watch this. Get your SP back in the car, back home. 
This song's gonna get your ass back home. How could you, how did you, how did you do? That thing is crying in the backseat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm on my porch making beats. I, I consider myself an old head. I'm 50, and there's many more older than me. Wow. <laughs> I know they are. I love it. I love the old heads. Because we get mad. <laughs> it's okay. They're bringing some good vibes. Yes. to the party right on time. Right on time. Right on time. Hi Sarah, I want to say thank you. Your videos have helped me a lot with my anxiety and pushed me to keep producing. That's what's up. Shout out to mental health or mental illness. <laughs> Um, do I have a Discord server? I do have a Discord server. And I am, ooh, bad at keeping it up. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm working on it. I got, I'm working on probably, I guess, the music's the first priority. I need to go ahead and hire an assistant. But yes, I have a Discord. If you have purchased my latest sound pack, the Dusty Drums Volume 1, you can go into the folder there is going to be a um a document that says discord link and it has the discord link right now it is private to those that have purchased the sound pack um it's gonna make sense a little later on but yes i have a discord so i don't have too many people in it i have to i'm almost done setting it up and be more active in it but it's there i have it i also have a mid journey bot in it so if you do decide to use it i'm not sure if you can generate your own but you can leave in a comment in the in the actual what's it called the uh like the anim or the the photography area in the discord Hey, say hey Sarah can you generate this image for me and I'd be more than happy to do that for you so if my mid journey bot's not working for you I can make it work for you if you understand what I'm saying so I can help you with your artwork and all that stuff I don't mind anyways 69 BPM 96 slices Mm. Is that for the NPC? That's what's up. What up, awkward? Awkward. Old her old head is a term that originated in hip hop culture <laughs> and is used to describe someone who has considered to be an elder or veteran in the community okay did you get that from um chat gtp or did you say that okay however the term k 
can be also carry negative condensations used to refer to someone who has seen or out of who, who has seen as out of touch <laughs> or resistant to change within the community <laughs> chat gtv okay i love chat gtv chat gtv look go right now i'm gonna I'm, I'm i know i could hold on let's do this right now let's, I don't know what I'm doing. I got so many darn controllers. Go to chat GTP. Taking a beat. Taking a beat break from beat. Sometimes you gotta take breaks from making beats. Sometimes you gotta make beats to get, take a break from something else. Right now, I'm taking a, a, a break from making beats. So, um,. Okay, here we go. Here we are. We're gonna ask. Let's see. Can you tell tell me the? The top 10 hip hop music producers ever. You guys ready for this? Top 10 music producers? Chat GTP. Would you? <laughs> gonna say? No. 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 Mm -mm. Why does everyone say this? Why does everyone say this? understand help me understand why why I'm sorry you are wrong <laughs> okay it's giving me an explanation of why it's why it's right um number one is dr. Dre so why is Dr. Dre number one? Is it because of his headphones? Okay, I get it, okay. But number one, okay, a minute, okay, okay. okay. But number one, I mean, who do you guys think is number one? Should be on that top. I, I like Dr. Dre, but I don't think he's number one. Jay Dill is definitely on my top. He's definitely number one for me. Um, DJ Premier is definitely top. Pete Rock. Got RZA. Kanye West is up there. Um, Timberland's up there. Pharrell's up there. They got DJ Quick. <laughs> and Mad Lib. Um, I like, it's not who I like, I think it's, um, J. Dilla, Pharrell, Timbaland, um, Kanye West. Kanye West is definitely like, I think Kanye West is the best producer. Honestly, he's probably number one. I would, I, I feel like, do you remember when Kanye first came out? I remember, I thought he was going to be a gimmick. Like, remember like 50 Cent was kind of a gimmick. It's just like he got shot eight times or something. It was like a thing. And then like Kanye came out. And they were like, he's not really a rapper, but he got in a car accident. And I'm like, okay, he's gonna ride the car accident thing for a long time. But no, like he, he has, he's one of the best rappers, one of the best producers. He organizes 
soundtracks. He's like doing gospel stuff. He's that like you know he experiment with stuff. Um, and then we know Pharrell. He's still he's still he's he's in the theme parks. Come on, like he's in the theme parks. He's a he's at Louis Vuitton. What do you talk about? Disrespect. Don't put some respect on this thing. Anyways. I'm listening to this on the way home and I'm already thinking of a sixteen to go with this. As you should. I hope I hope this inspires you. I hope it inspires something today. You know. Um, listen, the 404 are gonna be. I gotta wait a second. I got rent. Yeah, make sure y'all don't be buying stuff when y'all got money. Y'all, you know. When you a different person, you're not the person that's returning it. Meta Bear. I get, I get it. Inflation and rent's crazy right now for a lot of people. Um. But when you bought something last year, do you think about it today? Are you like, oh, I remember when I bought this TV. I've been thinking about it every day. You don't. It comes back. It circulates. Let me tell you about something about money. You got to love money because money loves you. And it comes back every time you circulate it. Try not to use the word spin. It has the word end in it. E-N-D. Um, every time you circulate money, know that it's going to come back, multiply it. And so just imagine, just imagine, literally just imagine. I want y'all to literally imagine this SP44 right now. Holla, holla, thanks for the fall. <laughs> but I just want y'all to really think about this. If Let's pretend this it is like four ninety nine. But just imagine you spent $499, $499 on this device. But let's, let, I want you to really imagine the feeling of receiving $4,900 and 90, yeah, in exchange. Like, let's say you buy this di device for $500, but then you get $5,000. Hold on to that feeling when you, when you circulate your money. You know how much money I've made off of my machine? <laughs> if I didn't spend that $600. So, love y'all. I'm going to get back to beat making. Let me read y'all comments real quick. Just have to learn how to make it rock. There's the issue of some beat makers instead of taking the time to learn the ins and outs of their gear they see the latest gears and want that so that's you so you're, yeah, you're guilty of that you should still keep the sp404 like it's it'll come back what up b lb diaries um, got, I got the Lie 2 for portability, then bought the SP44 on impulse. I feel like the SP44 defeated the purpose of portability when I can track out my beats when I get home and tweak the beats more in my DAW. Okay, gotcha. So I'm going to share with you like why I have the SB404, I've made a video about it before, but like back in my day when I was doing like live beat sets and like going to do like beat battles and just showing up to like just spots, at first I was just bringing my machine and my computer before I had the SP and then when I got the SP it was a wrap because all I needed was this, like all I need is this and like the cable. All my songs are loaded on there. I got the effects, so I'm doing live performances, adding effects live. I can plug up a microphone and talk to people. So I can record. I can do live sets, you know, at the at the bar or whatever. 
um, I can record live sets like a like my own boiler room situation with a camera and the SP. Go to a beach, hit hit play and <laughs> hit resample, and I can sample my whole set. And um, that's why I love it. And like even things like this, like having this NPC is running through. I'm I would be sad if I didn't have this because I'm running it through it. I'm getting these effects. Each song has a different sound and grittiness to it because of what this offers. So I love the effects on this device. They have like, I don't know, an endless amount. And I don't know any other device that really has this many really good effects, especially with this having the 303 compressor now and the 404 simulation and the cassette tape and whew anyways i understand but when when you get that when you come back to get the sp404 make sure you get it from my the link in my description it helps out my channel because i know you're gonna go get it again um rick ribbon rick rubin is definitely missing on this list for sure um the sp1200 and the sp303 that's, that's a good combination. Yes, Knife One needs to be on that list as well. We need to put some respect on his name. Um, would you consider Puff Daddy a producer? He did. He would find the sample and I think get people to chop it up and like. I think even Uma, like the collective with Knife Wonder, not Knife Wonder, Jay Dilla and um, Q Tip did songs for like honey like for the mariah carey song q-tip should be on this list too yeah there are some people that are like producers like they 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 produce in their own ways like dj khaled is someone that brings people together whereas like there are some people that do things all on their own um but yeah q-tip q-tip definitely should be on this list for sure not really into dr dre being number one i get that he's a, a billionaire or something like that did i see the 60 minutes interview which one who's 60 minute interview What up, Monty? Montana, what's up? My number one is probably MF Doom. Yes, I love that. Shout out to Doom. Rest in beats, MF Doom. Sincere, he is that too. But he has done production, especially in the early Def Jam stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like Rick Rubin definitely pr was more hands on in the early days. I think now he's more of like a, you know, let me tell you something's nice in that. The Alchemist. The Alchemist is doing his thing right now, man. Like he's killing it. Killing it. What happened to him? He got like the itch or something. He's just cranking out tunes like like no other or there really was a time where we expected some sort of tragic story from rappers I guess it's still a thing less so today JD Panda the alchemist yes out Shout out to the Alchemist. Hope to meet him one day. Talk about some records. See his, his collection. It is a dope collection. The 90s was like the golden era. DJ Quick underrated. Okay, I gotta look into more DJ Quick stuff. For sure. But the 90s was definitely in the golden era. I watched the Tupac documentary. So good. 
it reminded me how how like oh my god like how messed up things were back then i'm just like wow some things are great things are getting better but some things are really messed up i'm just like but it was like an an era and then like all these people are so young they're babies battle cat rick rock battle cat was at um nam this year celebrating the 50th year of hip-hop thank you keeping it positive of course always going to keep it positive is this new nah it's not i mean it's, it's new ish i got it this year yeah that's pretty cool this is the dub steps Tools, all tools for making music. Getting sources of inspiration from different places. Tools, tools. Yes, Greg. Let's get let's get to some more sequencing. I'm enjoying this beat. about it. them chaps. Look at all those chickens.
Just turned around and went home. You better go back home. Everybody give B3Z a round of applause. You're gonna get that money back. You're gonna, you're gonna text me next year, this time next year. You'll be like, girl, I done made I made thousands of dollars from making beats, girl. Well, something that had to do with my SP404. You you go. Cause once you the thing is once I buy something, I gotta use it. I'll be, I'll be sitting there like I don't spread all this money. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad a little beat making went to went to went to went to return. You know, and then the thing is, if you really need to return it, which I understand, I get it. Trust me, I get it. I get it. You can just sell it. You know, keep it in good condition. sell it I'm feeling this beat I'm feeling this part of the beat I'm feeling these two these two bars sometimes it's, that's all you really need a beat you know sometimes you don't need like you know it to be six minutes it can be literally 30 seconds long my dog has to be right under my feet like everywhere I go and then I accidentally roll on her with this chair. Oh, I haven't seen Rick Rubin's 60 Minutes. I ha I will check that out. I've been reading his book. It's like the creative. It's not called the creative way. I just literally saw it, heard about it, and downloaded it on Audible. It's so far so good. Organized no. Oh my God. Organized noise. The most underrated. If 
we didn't have organized noise we wouldn't have outcast in their first couple of albums we wouldn't have the dungeon family we wouldn't have tlc's waterfall you hear me like organized noise is definitely one of my favorite production clicks shout outs to ga that's right now organized you're not biased i believe like they're using the 12 the sp 1200s they're using real instruments they're sampling they're doing they're having fun they're they're in the basement or at least they were and they made amazing music so shout out to organized noise charlie jones says i can't really do a top 10 list i have favorites from the mainstream in the underground for example premiere ants or ant oh evidence alchemist mad lib would all feature nice k tornada top he's on my top three definitely have to be jay dilla pharrell k tornada those are like definitely my top three but outside of um but that was like i don't know if they consider k tornada hip-hop because he does more hit like dancing stuff my other favorite producers are james brown and quincy jones i got a ticket to, to go celebrate quincy jones 90th birthday here in la and that's coming out um, he's going to be performing at the um the hollywood bowl so i gotta grab the ticket so grateful to to get to see and hear his music be performed it's my first time at the hollywood bowl too so this is like gonna be a moment for me i'm excited about that um the way you broke down makes perfect sense for someone who's doing live shows and i now that i think about it also run the sp into a patch bay and use it on stems in your daw as well damn it man yeah i made a video it was like a it was just like a tiktok it went over all of the things the sp404 can do like you can and i have a video on my youtube channel like there's you can turn your sp404 into a podcast like my the i'm live with you guys now i could play my music live on the on the stream which is dope um but like if i didn't have this mic and this setup and i was on a budget like if you have an sp right now and you just go get one of those 20 dollars mics from amazon you can have an a podcast right now you just plug up the sp404 to your daw grab the grab the dynamic mic that plugs into the sp and you could just talk into the sp and have your own podcast have music playing under it using dj mode because you can adjust the volume of the the music in dj mode and um and record the podcast on the logic or garage man and um have cool effects on top of your vocals like all the stuff that you're hearing with the the effects on like the music you can do with your voice and like when people are listening to podcasts it makes it more interesting especially when they're driving or they're at home or something I'm like okay this person is giving me a show and experience when i'm listening to their podcast so like that's just one thing so obviously you can make beats you can perform on it i can hear a young ghost face i would love to hear ghost face kill this beat with this with this eagle chain this ain't huge the SP needs a sub sonic effect. The SP. Mm hmm. Roland needs to add a sub sonic effect. Um, they need to do more than that. They need to allow you to record DJ mode. There are certain things that are like the most basic thing. I'm like, all right, like, let's. Why well, isn't this feature on here? Like I said, you can record into Logic 
you know, but it'd be dope if you can resample. Like, if you're doing a live DJ set, it'd be dope to just do it all and record it on the SP. Like, real simple. Because there's a resample function, but, you know. That chop with the synth on, it sounds crazy. That change up is so sick. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you do a tutorial? Can I do a tutorial on the, on what? On when exactly? Got me rolling. Yes, I'm so proud of you. I'm glad you went back home. Go home and tell your SP4 for I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then dress it up with a nice skin and some buttons. Have fun. Enjoy the process. subtle or too sudden i'm gonna say this project and we're gonna just grab some more samples and just start fresh my dog is playing with a floppy fish it flops 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 so if you hear that that's what that is <laughs> i think it's a cat toy <laughs> Keep your dog occupied, you know. She has to be under me all the time. When I accidentally hit her, her gut. And then she screams. And then I get upset because I hurt my puppy. Well, she just wants to be near me. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, kind of. That's the problem. All right, so we're gonna pull up somewhere. We're gonna start fresh. I wanna say these are drums. Yes, yes, these are drums. Ooh. Lucy, can you go to your bed? You got fuzzy all over you. Why are you eating that? <laughs> fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. And Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. I'm trying to go back to where I was. Where was I? Here I was. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Ooh, my lot. That's my vibe, girl. We're gonna go ahead. We ain't gotta. You ain't gotta tell me twice. You gotta tell me twice. over. Okay, it's a 16 bar loop. So, uh, 
what we're gonna do. We're gonna um duplicate it real quick. Time st stretch it to a ninety two. Lucy, excuse me. No, what are you doing? <sighs> I don't know what she gets into. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, I miss with it. I'm going to convert that joint. Mm -mm -mm. Dogs under my feet. Hey, it hurts. It's grandma single asking for a friend. I don't know where that lady is. Last time I saw she had like a bunch of grandkids. So I don't think she's single. I appreciate you. Grandma, I don't know where she at. She, you know, she around here somewhere. <laughs> Jink, yes, yes, yes. Can there be a top 10 without a single trap producer on it? Trap pretty much took over last 15 years um i think it's not i don't know personally i think 
the production. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I, ain't, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't gonna, I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> production a little different in the trap world. That's all I got to say. But you know, little John's a great producer. He's listen. When I go to the club. Which is rarely, but when I go, they still playing Yang Yang Twins and Little John, and um, yeah. But like you tell me, the the top, wh- who who would be the top ten, who would be on that list as the trap era? There's a lot of um producers. I guess like David Banner's one. We got um. You know, we got, uh, literally my head just, I'm looking at it, um, Zaytoven, we got, um, Metro Boomin, you know, 808 Mafia, you know, there's, 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 you know, you know, you know, I don't like competition. I don't like list. Because it's just a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you want to throw producers from YouTube, I throw Accurate Beats, The Bangers, Cook and Soul, as well as yourself. Also, Cold Man Beats gets a mention. He's dope as hell, too. That's what's up. Shout outs to all the dope YouTubers, music producers sharing their, their knowledge here on YouTube. That pop, yeah, the podcast capability is pretty dope. So, um, well, don't put your name as Charlie. Oh, it's Charles, my bad. Charles, call you CJ or something like that. Is that cool? Because, you know, like, the brain, it sees the beginning and the last of the word. doesn't see them between. So I'll be like, you know, Charlie, Charles, Charlotte. <laughs> Why don't you have a play button on the SP? Um, Why can't you have a play and stop button on the SP? Hmm. You mean like, hmm, I mean, they do have it in DJ mode, uh, you know, what up, Tay, Tay White Beats, Ty White Beats, if I'm saying y'all name wrong, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Because we're her grandparent, her grandkid. That's right. She's been making me for 100 years before I even started. You know? Hold on. So this should be a button over here. I got I to gotta, I gotta remember, I got these little links over here. These links I could turn on. Hold on, let me see. 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 We're going to turn time correction off. I'm going to need that. We're gonna turn the match. I can turn the metronome on here. Ah, oh, I don't have to do all of the touching the button, the waiting the buttons. Mm-hmm. Hey, bad. Let's get into it. Oh, that was not. It's always like that. It's always like that.
off. Boy, I got it in the doop that what? Okay. So we're gonna go to the track two. We're gonna go to the ba doom boom. And we're gonna hit the browse button and we're gonna we're gonna browse for some samples. This is the fun part. Sometimes it gets me immediately. I'd be like, I don't even be browsing. I'd be like, that'll do, that'll do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to do it because um, I just gotta try. You know, if it don't work out, we just pull up a different one. You know, we just pull up a different one. We pull up a different one. I'll be like, that'll do. That'll do, SpongeBob. got me excited i'm excited y'all i was pleased to see sarah join the npc game welcome it's like i just walked into like a, a part of the school inside of the school i'm on a part of the school lunch the the table that i can sit at i'm at the table y'all waving at my old friends like come on over here they're like don't come over here I'm like come on man you don't like the machine people <laughs> Hello from France. Bonjour. How are you doing? What time is it out there? You should be asleep. Probably. Or waking up. You probably wake up. I don't know what's going on out there. I would do I don't know what your schedule's like. Never mind. Let me stop that too. That too. <laughs>
someone didn't send me on how to automate this. I don't know how to automate yet. I'm going to have to affect. I need to understand. I need to understand. There's an auto button. Save it. I don't think I'm done yet, though. Keys, I appreciate it. It really does. These drums definitely fit good with the sample. That's the best. It's off, man. Why are you always doing that? for the subscription thank you guys for helping me get to 80,000 subscribers on here on youtube this week huge milestone do not take it for granted that's a lot of people and i know there's twice as much people that don't subscribe so i appreciate people that have taken the time to hit subscribe so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already smash that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you guys know when i'm posting awesome content Yes.
further. So many cool things. Sounds so good. Come on. I'm glad. You know, you you going back home. Like, how could I give you up, baby? The grittiness. You hear that? Come on. Come on, baby. Thank you so much, Big Johnny. Dusty. And then you got the second bless over here. You can. Catches. Come on. Get your SV4 for MK2 right now. The only one I would recommend, I would not recommend getting the older versions at all unless you just want to collect it in the in George just like I got over here. This thing is crazy. got the funds to get this device here I would highly recommend 10 out of 10 this is definitely a, a must-have if you're I feel like Dr. Dre has it you know? well I appreciate you guys coming through today um, again this this episode has been sponsored by distro kid make sure you guys smash that link that's in the description of the 7% off your first year membership the link is distrokid.com slash VIP slash Sarah to ill I appreciate you guys coming through today making some beats with me um, the automation button is right screen Animation buttons on the right side of the screen with the green lid and the top zoom. Okay, so if I go here, oh, this is automation. Wait, so if it's on W, it means it's doing it.
is not working. How do I record the automation? I'm confused. Dre, beloved, Dr. Dre's in here. <laughs> Please help me. When you have this automation screen, how can I record the automation? It says the automation button's on the right side of the screen to green LED, the zoom tool. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. But it looks like it would be in, I don't know. Or are you talking about? Oh, send me a video. Add some space without drums and melody for a few milliseconds and then back. And with a beat. Have you ever used the SB404 MK2 with the machine? Yes. I use it every day. I have my um, machine right here. So I know it's like in the cut. But yeah, I use it every day. I use all of them. Right, right after. Um, so what I'll probably do, hopefully, I think I have jury duty next week. So I'm not sure if I'll be doing a stream next week. We'll see. They don't tell you until like... They make you check every day to see if you're coming or not. If I am scheduled to come next Friday, we'll not be doing a stream. But that being said, um, if I this is so this is what I did this week. I can give you an example. So like, I like to um, like when we're done with these streams and stuff. I take a lot of like time just going over like the baseline, adding little sprinkles, a lot of a lot of this. Um, and I go to a studio out here in LA to listen to it. I did that this week. I listen to my music really loud, add some bass to it. Um, but I what I do is I take my I chop it up. The I chop the sample and the drums on the NPC. I run it through the SP to get some cool effects, just like what we're listening to now. And then I sequence the beat, or re I re-record it on the SP, or the, in I'm sorry, I record all of that onto the machine software. Um, I posted a video about that today, or this week, on my TikTok. And I showed the process. Excuse me. TikTok slash there to ill make sure you guys follow me all that good stuff but yeah um, this dope this beat is dope I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna save it made two dope beats today I actually made three beats today um, I actually made a video before I got on here hopefully I can edit it this weekend and if I have jury duty next week it'll be hopefully be out while I'm in jury duty Maybe. We'll see. Things take a lot longer than expected. We'll be eating. Uh -uh -uh. I don't even know what this is. She's eating some wires and shit. I gotta go. I tend to my dog. Obviously, I'm too focused on the beats. Let me. She's like, I am not. I am not. I'm a good dog. I don't even know where she, what this is, but she done chewed up. And she ate it. Did you eat it? Well, let me show you. She, she's guilty. Let's see. What was that from? Let's see. What was that from? Where'd you get that from? Hmm? Was that from your fish? That was from your floppy fish? Yeah, okay. I can see the remnants down here. I just, I just ate the whole toy, Mom. 
cats and they want dogs, man. Always into something. One day the NPC X on my desk, that's right, manifested. It's already sitting on your desk. Just like here, it's already there. Like, I be manifesting stuff every day. Every single day, y'all. It's crazy. I just manifest some crazy stuff, bro. I was like, wow, I can't even tell y'all. Yeah, they need to hurry up and announce it so I can talk about it. Let me check my own. Um, let me check. Let me check this out. All right. They have not announced this. I got to hold it in for like another week or so. Anyways. If y'all want any more tips about manifestation, follow me on Sarah Too Ill on all platforms. I always talk about manifestation. I'm a queen of manifestation. I'm a manifester. That's my human human design. Um, okay, tap. Make sure my dog ain't doing shit. I got PTSD, y'all. Tap is and it will turn red when you write auto. I'm gonna learn this shit. Oh no. Let's see. wires and shit anyways um where do i get my samples some of my samples come from really dope sound libraries there's one called polyphonic sorry let me just come on come on sit in my lap come here come here buddy there we go Polyphonic is dope. The sample lab is dope. Um, some people have their own sample libraries. Um, the count is good. Um, I think Cymatics has some stuff. I think Keelan Ellis has some good stuff. And I think um, some of my samples come from my own sample pack. Especially lately, I've been using the Dusty the Dusty Drums Volume One. Let me add that to I'm using my own sound pack. I actually have some new stuff coming out too. Probably gonna have some like um, some vocal sound packs coming out, like just like a bunch of yo's. Hey, what's up? What? what? You know, not from me, from someone else. So you can have it with your music. But yeah, um, that is it for today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Made two lovely beats. I'm going to finish off actually the distro kit thing that I showed you guys with the the um, the poster cards. It's promoting music that I've already released. I suggest you do the same thing if you have distro kit. Go ahead and log in. Go to promote yourself in use some of their free asset tools that you can just use right now to promote your stuff. You can make canvases, shorts, stories. When it's red, hit the overdub button and do your thing. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, hold on. Didn't work. It's not working, sir. Ma'am, not the drink. When it's red, it's red. Hit over the but I did that. Am I doing it 
doing wrong? Like, what am I doing wrong? I don't know why it's not working. I don't know if it is supposed to be working. I need it to work. I need to do clear instructions. Step one, because I, I did it. I had it's, it's red, right? And the overdub is on, and I did my little thing. And then if the thing ain't doing its thing, it ain't calling back to me. So you need to uh, send me a video, hit my DMs or something, an email. Cause we need to, we got a beat tape to make. We make a beat. Y'all co-producers on this shit, okay? Give you credit, verbally. <laughs> All right, I love y'all. I gotta go. I'm gonna eat some dinner. Take my dog on a walk. Say these beats. Hold on. y'all so much thank you so much for coming through to visit and make beats and chill with me hang out with me joke with me i love y'all have a great weekend